Hi there. In this video I want to quickly run through how to colour a, a, a drawing that you will have imported from AutoCAD. Um, before we begin I just want to show you the properties of two of the objects that you'll come across when you import um, an, a drawing like this. The first is a line. So when you have a line the properties of a line are is that it has a stroke but no fill whereas when we click on a piece of text it is the opposite. It has a fill but no stroke. So this will become important in a few minutes when we come to colouring the different aspects of the drawing. So let me zoom back out again. I'm going to tap Control minus or Command minus on the keyboard if you're using a Mac. So first of all um, I want to select all the lines on my drawing. To select all the lines means that I don't want to select the text because the text, like I said, has got a different property, it's only got a fill. So I need to find out what layers my text is on. So the quickest way to do this is select an object, a text object. If I click on this object here, you'll see that over here in my layers dialog box, you'll see that this uh, layer has been highlighted. So um, that contains that layer, so I'm going to lock that and I'm actually going to turn it off as well. I'm going to do the same with this pink because I can see that, so I'll click that and turn that off. So that looks to me like all the text has been turned off. So the next thing I want to do is select all, select all, this will select all the lines on the drawing. You'll see over here that there is no fill selected but the question marks in the stroke box means that there are strokes of varying colour that have been selected. So there's two things I want to change with the stroke. Firstly, I want to change the stroke weight. So just before I change it, have a look at what the original weight looks like. So the weight is the thickness of the line. Um, it's hard to tell whether there's varying thicknesses on these lines or not. So I'm going back to select all again. So select all here where it says stroke I'm going to click up here and click 0.25 um, uh, so if I click away you'll see that this has changed the weight of the stroke so I'm going to select all again this time I want to change the color so um, I could click on the color here double click on it to choose the color picker um, but what I want is I want to choose the palette um, because when I choose the palette um, this palette offers me pure black pure white and also if I click on the down facing arrow here I can get CMYK colors where I have my black and my white and then I can add percentage figures here so I can get various colors in grey so I'm going to click here for black so you can see here it's 100% so I'm going to change that to 80% black which is a, uh, a kind of a light grey so the idea behind this is that I want these lines although I want them to be prominent I don't want to be them to be the most prominent thing in the drawing because I'm going to add illustrator elements on top of this so a, uh, a grey will suffice so back to uh, making everything look the same so um, I'm happy enough with that as a background map so I'm going to lock all the layers here. Now I'm going to um, turn on and unlock the text layers. So there's that one and there is this one. And you see that my text has come on and it is still coloured in different colours. So again I'm going to select all, select all. Um, so it's the fill this time that I want to change. So again over to the stroke I'm going to make it black. I'll make that 80% grey. Um, and when it comes to the stroke, it's picking up on something that has a stroke. So it could be a little symbol or something that's associated with the text. Yeah, you see this kind of little symbol here. It's fine. We can just click on none for that. Um, zoom back out. If I click away, sorry, I'm using my black arrow to click away to deselect everything. And you'll see now that both the text and the lines are uniform. So this then creates a great opportunity um, to use this as a, a, a background map. So the how I would progress this is now that I have all these on here is I would create a new layer. If I call this background, I would drag this to the bottom. Um, I'm going to use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle. Um, for the background I will color this Sorry, again, I'm going to go over to my color palette. Um, instead of 80% grey, if we had this at maybe 15% grey, um, that's even too dark, so maybe 12 will do. Back to my layers, kind of lock that background. Um, and now to this, I can add elements such as if I was to um, 
draw in uh, significant roots. I would use um, my pen tool. I would swap these around um, because I don't want to fill on it. I just want to stroke. I'll change the color of that. Um, so if I was to draw in a significant root that ran very, very quickly using my Bezier tool on here from my pen tool. Um, so if I was to show this as a main root, then I can go to my stroke tool. I can change the weight of the stroke. I can give it a dash. I can add arrowheads. Um, I'll just go with the first one and I'll go with the first one and therefore you can build on your illustrator map from there but it's a good way to create a base map um, for use for something like analysis drawings. Thank you.